I think that I'd like to rescue myself uh, from the idea that there's so many different realities here. Somehow I feel an observer. Well, I feel very fine. <laughs> I feel very buoyant and light and uh, resilient. I feel as though this chair is not as solid as it seems to so be. So many of the changes produced by this drug uh, have to be described verbally. What are your thoughts on the drug problem that exists uh, in the North American society? Cocaine usage, uh, marijuana. Any thoughts on that? In fact, all the governments should help the scientists to find better drugs with lesser side effects rather than repressing drugs. It is stupid. Whenever you start stopping something, you give great importance to it. And particularly to the youth, it becomes a provocation. The government is responsible for all young people who are being destroyed by drugs. There is no need. In my birthplace, just in front of me, my house, there was a beautiful properly explain myself in this climate. Who could they? Be quiet. Be calm. Name? Frank? Press affiliation. spiritual potential of LSD. In the early 60s, a group of psychologists and theologians in Boston conducted a remarkable and serious-minded investigation into the religious implications of psychedelic drugs. I think at that point, I was very much aware that something very unusual was beginning to happen to, to me. Good evening. Tonight we begin with an ABC News exclusive investigation and indictment of what the U.S. government does to some of the most vulnerable children in this country. We have spent a year investigating a horrible secret. Tens of thousands of foster care children, even infants, given powerful mind-altering drugs and at times in doses and combinations considered too risky even for adults. I'm fairly sure if they took porn off the internet, there'd only be one website left, and it'd be called Bring Back the Porn. <laughs> to become aware of my own sensuality, I first become fully aware of my own tactile sense. In dim light, I close my eyes. 